tailgate. I I don't want to look back there. Hey, what's up, my peoples? I'm Go here, the freaking geek himself, and today we will be reviewing the X Transbots. Hatch! So here we are, and there he is, and first and foremost, as always, we'll take a quick look at the packaging. It's right up front, you have a nice picture there of Hatch, and if you also bought Boost, you can take the two boxes, put them together, and it makes one picture. Oh, that's Josh. Cute. They're BFFs forever. Get out of here. Oh, on this side of the box, you have a picture of Hatch in his old mode. On the other side, there you have Hatch on the top of the box. X Transbots Master Mini Series Hatch. On the back of the box, you have a little schematic thing going on there. You do have your very G1 tech spec card, and you have your bio if you want to read it. And you get Sad Pac Man! And that's basically it for the packaging. Also included is the obligatory third party collector's card right there. With Hatch, and on the back, you have that same bio, and this deck specs. If that interests you, woo, cards. So, moving right along, here we have Hatch, which is X-Transbot's take on a uh, Masterpiece tailgate. As you can see, it is the uh, the same vehicle mode as Boost, right here. So, um, there is some slight remolding, obviously, it's a repaint, and um, yeah. So we're getting close here, so you can see the details, and you can see right up front you have that little bit of gold. I don't know how well that comes off, but a little bit of gold there. You got some black. You know, so do you have the uh, flip-up headlights right there, done in silver? Wink. You can do that, right there. Um, you can see the the white doesn't really. I don't know how well. I don't know how well that's coming off on camera, but the white here doesn't match the white everywhere else because this piece is actually. I'll bring this panel down so you can see it. This piece is actually cast in uh, blue plastic, and they just painted the white over it. So you can see, like, the white doesn't really match up. It's a little bit of an eyesore, but oh, it is what it is. Right there. And he does have the windshield with that nice sparkly, sparkly paint in there. Actually sparkles a lot more than on Boost. But I do like it. And you got the Rims there done in silver with that little spot of red. Got the door handle there, picked out in paint. As well as a little keyhole. And I got a little bit of gold right there. Back, done in red, with a little white logo on the back. And yeah. Same vehicle mode right there. Obviously different uh, robot mode chest. And uh, yeah, there you go. He rolls as rolling things should. Hooray for that. And for comparison, here he is with uh, Boost. You can see that they are the exact same alt mode right there. Exact same car. Woo. So there you go. Brothers in arms. And here he is with Masterpiece Bumblebee. So you can see how he scales there with the Bumblemeister. Right there. And Masterpiece Sideswipe. You can see how he scales there. See how he scales there. And yeah. There you go. Again, just like Boost. So, there you go. Now, he does include his weapon right here. His little gun, which is a different gun than the one that came with uh, Boost. Here's Boost's gun. So, you can see. It's a different gun right there. Got some blue plastic. Some older details right there. Now, the gun storage actually does work way better on a Hatch than it did on Boost. Like, if you remember, when I reviewed Boost, the gun storage, like, it works, but it could have been better because there's no actual friction here. So, it just would kind of, it, it would just, you know, boop, just fall. Like, there's no friction there whatsoever. But with Hatch, if you lift this panel up right here and push that gun into the groove. Oops. Make sure it's in all the way. Look, it holds. I can shake it and everything. That works. Hooray. I love that. Hooray for things that work. Woo. All right. But anyway, yeah, there you, go. you can store the gun right there. And it holds very securely, as you can see. So I appreciate that. <laughs> so 
There you have that. And you do have some other accessories, but we'll get to those when we get to robot mode. So, without further ado, let's get to robot mode. So, let's just remove that, put that off to the side, and we will get started. So, you want to start at the back here. You want to take this rear section here, bring that back section up right there, and then bring this section down. It scares me a little bit. Getting it off of those clips. Come on. Come on. Come on, people now. Smile on your brother. Everybody get together. Learn to love one another. Come undone. Come undone, man! Come undone! This is when I get scared I'm going to break something. Why is this not... What the... There we go. Jeez. Jeez. That's not good. I just stress that. Yeah, see that right there? I don't know if you can see it. Yeah, I just I just stressed the crap out of that. Well, that's no good. That's no good at all. Yeah, anyway. So let's continue on. Take the chest panel here. Just bring that down. That'll give us some clearance to work with the arms. So again, just bring it down so you can untab that right there. And then you just kind of start rolling that wheel out. Which will roll the shoulder out, and that kind of helps you get things started. And then it does that weird thing where you have to undo that tab that's like in there and undo it from this clip right here at the same time, which is weird, and I don't like doing it. And that, there we go. Like that. Rotate the arm outward, like that. And then we're going to do that same weird wrist transformation here. Where you open up the hands and then just get the thumb, just kind of roll it over so the thumb goes over that ridge and then just push it past this other little nub right there. And then, then you just take this, slide that in, bring that around to close up the forearm, bring out the hand, and there you go, rotate it at the bicep swivel so everything's oriented properly. There you have an arm done. You can see he has like the faux shoulder there. With the, uh, with the faux tire. A little bit of gold right there. So. A little cheat there in the transformation, but that's fine. I don't care about cheats in the transformation. I know that probably enrages some people. I could care less. Then you just rotate this out a little bit again to get it started. Bring that down and then just try to get this out. And there you go. It actually came out really easy. For some reason, one arm always comes out easier than the other one. I don't get it. I don't get it. Open up the fingers there. Rotate that around. Rotate it. Rotate it. And you're still, even when you're trying to do this little trick, you're still having to, like, push the hand past this little ridge. And I don't like it. I don't like pushing things past other things when I'm transforming them. I don't like that. I don't like it. Slide that in. Bring this around, bring that out, close up the forearm, rotate, and there you got the arms all done. So there you have that. So now, <clears throat> the one little difference in the transformation here, well, we can do this part now, just take this little piece right here that covers his face, just bring that down. It's on double hinge, just want to kind of take it in, tuck it behind this blue piece right there, like that. Let's see his face. Now, the one difference in the transformation is that you're only going to move these side pieces here. So you're just going to pull these up. Just pull up a little bit. There. Pull that up. And now you just take this whole bit right here. And you bring it back on this hinge right here. So you just bring that back. Pull these pieces down against the back. And there you go. That center part just stays there. Like that. And then you take this whole roof section here. Bring it up. Take this back section here. The weird thing is that the instructions, I find this to be a useless bit of transformation because you don't really have to do it. The instructions tell you to take these side windshields because they're on hinges to fold them in. That way you can bring this piece up and you don't really have to do that because like even with those windshields out, you can still bring that up just fine. So I don't, I don't, I don't know. I don't know. But anyway, it's on that double hinges. Take it in, just tuck it under that piece right there. And then just bring this up, and it will go over these two tabs right there. And clip everything in place. Oh, nice lack. And there you go. So now it's time to move on to uh, another one of my favorite parts, the legs. So split the legs. 
right there. Bring down this panel, and you want to take this bit right here, just kind of bring it down so it unclips right there. And just kind of tilt this to the side right there. And then you're going to slide this in, bring it up on that double hinge, and then you're going to roll this whole assembly outward. And then you come to that same problem where you're just having to push things past things to get them where they need to go. And I don't like doing that. Uh, that's still... Eh. And I don't feel like anything is going to... I, I don't really feel like anything is going to break, but when I do that, I, I just... It scares me, though. Like, I'm worried that it's going to break, even though it doesn't seem like it will. But anyway, you want to bring it, this piece, back down on that double hinge and bring this piece back out on the slider. Bring it back out. It's getting stuck. There we go. Bring it back out, and that peg right there will just... Peg in to the back of the foot there, like that. Squeeze that together, and there you go. Just bring this heel piece off to the side. What are you getting stuck on? What's going on here? Oh, you want to make sure that this, uh, this tab goes into that notch right there. That secures that in place. I guess I forgot to do that. And just bring this heel piece down. Why is that getting stuck? Oh, my God. Take the wheel, fold it in. This one's just giving me problems. What the hell? Good golly. Oops, I forgot to bring this down. Bring that down, and I'll just fill in that gap somewhat, but not really. Okay, bring that back up. Squeeze all this back together because it came undone. Um, take the knee and just kind of push that forward. Rotate at to the hip, and there you got a leg all done. Second verse, same as the first. Pray for me. Pray for me, peoples. Pray for me. Anyway, bring that down. <laughs> Swing that off to the side. Uh, slide that in. Bring it up on that double hinge. Rotate. Push things past things. Cringe as you do it. There you go. Actually, went a bit easier. Make sure that tab goes into that notch right there in the side of the leg. Bring that down. Slide this back out. Make sure it's down on that double hinge. Peg that into the back of the foot. Rotate that down. Bring that wheel in. Push that knee forward. Rotate. And there we got the legs all done. Hooray! So now we're going to take these blue pieces here and just bring them in. And just bring up this waist section on that double hinge there until that lines up. Right there. You gotta make sure all that all that's lined up right there. That's how you know it's in the right spot. And once you do that, it's time for the uh, next part of the transformation that I don't like. This next little annoying piece is you rotate the wheels so you can see those little slots there. And you're gonna try as best as you can to line everything up. Again, there are those two. Dabs right there on either side, which are very, very short, and that's part of the problem. They're very short dabs. And bring it up, and then you get to the point where you really can't see what you're doing. And then you just bring it up, and I think I got that side in. I think that side went in. We got the other side lined up. Nope, I don't think so. I'm going to try to do this. I'm going to try to get this actually lined up. Oops, I think I got it. I think I got it. I think I got it. And then just push that in. And for some reason, that's not locking in place the way it should. I think I got it. There you go. Bring his head down a little bit here. Kind of looking up. There we go. And we are done. Right there. So you have Hatch in robot mode. And you can use that double hinge there and just have the shoulders oriented however you want. I always just bring them up. To their highest point there, so I think that looks best. And there you go, there you have Hatch in his robot mode, and that's Leo Tailgate right there. Leo Tailgate. And for some reason, I actually think I like this version of the mold better than Boost. I don't know why. Maybe it's just because of the comics. I just like Tailgate more. But um, yeah, I like them. Getting closer on the head sculpt. Very nice head sculpt. 
Nice big blue eyes, nice silver face. Got some silver on the chest there. And again, it's it's a nice design. Um, it's just the execution of the transformation that bugs me. But I think it is a nice design. And if you're not a fan of the big heel spurs, I mean, you can just actually, I believe you can just take these and like tuck these right back in. It doesn't really affect anything, honestly. If you tuck these back in, I mean, he actually still stands, I think. He's, he's a little wobbly. It makes him a little wobbly. Yeah, it does. It makes him a little... Yeah, he's, he's definitely not as stable if you fold those back in. You can get him standing, but... Yeah. Yeah. Eh, you can take a shaking, but nope, 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 maybe not. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, you can't fold those in if you want, but it kind of makes them a little less stable. I don't care, the heel spurs don't bother me. As far as I'm concerned, I want my robots to be as stable as possible. Sure, he has big heel spurs, but he won't fall over, so for me, I'll take it. Well, there you go. Now, articulation-wise, um, his head is in this little little box here. Um, it can move up and down. You can rotate it, but you're not going to get a whole lot of rotation there. It's pretty much all the side-to-side -side movement you're going to get. You can get him to look down a little bit. You can get him to look up. Uh, the shoulders are on a ball joint, so you can get some nice wiggle-waggle movement in there. Get some good outward movement. And also, you have that hinge right there for transformation to use however you want. Bicep swivel, about 9 degrees of elbow bend, wrist swivel, hands can open and close, waist swivel, but again, it just looks weird depending on how you use it. That just looks awkward. Um, legs can go forward that much. You can do some nice high kicks and go back that much. Outward movements that much. And those little panels move out of the way. Do got a swivel at the hip. Over 90 degrees of knee bend there, and of course, due to the way it transforms, it just ends up kind of weird. You have to kind of just push the knee back in place. And the toe does have a tilt to it, and you can angle it up, angle it down. And you can do that with the heel spur as well. You can angle that down, and you also have that joint right there, that pivot. So you can still have them standing flat-footed, and most of the time when you use those joints, this comes undone. And you gotta push it back together. And that kind of bugs me. So there you go. Now again, he does include his weapon right here, his little gun. And he can hold that. It's the typical masterpiece gun with the tabs on either sides. He has a slot in each hand. Just take it, dab it in. Boop. There you go. He's got his little gun. Now he does have some alternate parts. Now, right now, you can see he has just the uh, big blue visor on his face. But if you want him to have different eyes, he does come with some extra eyes right here. And these eyes I don't like. They're just very little squinty blue eyes. I don't really care for them. And how you swap the eyes out is you do need a, a tool for this. I use my tweezers here. You want to kind of get in here. And you basically want to pry this part back. Because it just kind of clips into the... Uh, the, the, the stem of the head there. So you just kind of want to take this and push it back until it unclips right there. And then you can just take that and pull it off right there. And then you just kind of lightly, make sure you don't scratch the paint there, just kind of nudge his eyes out. That just comes right out. And then you just take these eyes and you slide them into the back of his head. And I don't particularly care for these eyes. I don't know. Just weird, they're weird squinty eyes. I don't care for him. <laughs> he just looks like he's annoyed. He looks like Clint Eastwood, actually. He has Clint Eastwood eyes. Oh my god, he has Clint Eastwood eyes. Ah! Do you feel lucky? Punk? I don't, I, I don't, I don't like these eyes. So all I'm going to say is I don't like those eyes. Get, get, get out of here. Get out of my life forever. I just like the big blue visor. To me, that just screams tailgates, and I like it. Then you just take that, push it back on. And just make sure it clips back on. Right there. 
Now, one thing too is you can you you can move this whole section. This does this will rotate with the head if you want a little bit more head movement from side to side. The downside of it though is that this blue piece will end up banging against that chest piece and knocking it out. It'll disengage it, which in turn will disengage the shoulders, which in turn will make you cry because then you have to sit here and try to line all that crap up all over again. So I don't really recommend turning this. If you want them to look side to side, just deal with what little side to side movement it has. Other than that, it's like, no, that, that just makes everything go wrong and bad and, and bad and wrong. But anyway, he does also include an alternate chest piece, and this is his uh, G1 toy chest right there, and it's just on a... Uh, on a C clip right there, some C clips. I mean, just pop out the old chest, pop on the new chest. I'm not going to do all that. Just there you go. There he is with the toy chest. If you want, so options. But there's some nice details there. Got some red, some blue, well, a couple dots of black. Just like the G1 toy. So there you go. G1 toy chest. Hurrah! 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 No for comparison. Here he is with the bumblebee, and here he is with sideswipe. As you can see how he scales with the masterpiece bots. Right there. So there you go. And here he is with his wave mate here, Mr. Boost. You can see, look down. Look, dude, eyes up front. Eyes up front. Get get out of here. It's a little hard to move his head too. There we go. And you can see, obviously, they, they did do a bit of remolding, obviously, you know, different head. Um, slight difference in the transformation there uh, with the with the hood section. Um, different chest, they do have different shoulders. Um, they do have different crotch pieces. They also have different thigh pieces here. See, the molding is different there, but everything else is basically the same on these guys. Actually, no. Actually, uh, this little upper piece here that the head sits on. Those are different molds also. And this is different too, but that's just due to the transformation, so it has to be different. This piece right here. But yeah, you know. Some remolding, so it differentiates them a bit. So it does make them look like two different characters, even though, you know, at their core they are the same toy. But there you go. They have Boost and Hatch. So yeah, what's up with his arm? It's a, He broke his wrist. Eh, it's like, eh. Uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, what's wrong with me? He's lost his mind. No, I lost that a long time ago. Long time ago. Anyway. Get, this. <laughs> Get him situated here for some final thoughts. But anyway, as far as Hatch goes, um... Pretty much my feelings about Hatch are the same as my feelings um, about Boost. Um, uh, you know, I, I do... I, I, I don't love these figures. I don't hate them either. Um, the, the vehicle modes are gorgeous. The robot modes look really good. Um, it's just the transformation. The transformation is what ultimately irks me the most. I don't like that feeling of pushing things past other things. And, you know... Like I said, you know, when I reviewed Boost, you know, this whole chest assembly, how it locks the wheels and doesn't really work all that well, that bugs me. Um, so ultimately, it's, it's just the transformation process itself that brings my opinion down on these guys. Um, and the transformation is not complicated. It's not that it's complicated. It's just that it's not a smooth conversion. There's, like I said, too many instances of pushing things past other things. And I did stress something. I stressed one of these clips here too. And I don't like that one bit. Um, but yeah, it's not that the transformation is complicated. It's just that it's not smooth. It's not fluid. Um, you're just kind of shoving things around in, in a lot of instances, and that's what I don't like. You're just kind of shoving things around and trying to pry things apart. That's what I don't like. It's just that the transformation isn't smooth, and um, that's what needed to be uh, what needed to be refined. And uh, you know, if they had you know just done some little tweaks to the engineering to make things work a bit more smoothly, these things would have been awesome. I would have given them two thumbs up. Um, and honestly, one thing to, to, to fix this whole chest bit was just to make these tabs 
bigger because you can see these tabs are like super short. That's not a lot to hold on to. So if those tabs were a bit longer, they probably would hold on a lot more securely. That probably would have fixed that problem real easy, but you know, it, it is what it is. But yeah, um, you know, I mean, decent figures, like I said, look great in robot mode, look great in alt mode. It's just getting from point A to point B that, that kind of kills it for me. But anyway, there you go. There you have Hatch. So if you would like a Hatch of your own or any of x Bot's other offerings, you can always check out BigBadToyStore.com for availability. There will be a link in the description down below, so check that out. You can also check out my third-party Transformers playlist for any reviews you may have missed. Also linked in the description down below, so check that out as well. And I think that's it, so don't forget to check out Endgames, check out Lori Plan, follow me on Twitter, all of that good stuff down in the description below. And I think that's pretty much all there is to say. So, there is the x -Trans Bots Hatch, and this is Mgo saying, remember, you don't stop playing because you grow old, you grow old, but, but oh, wait, 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 wait. I totally forgot, I have other tailgates I can compare him with, I totally forgot. So here he is with the uh, official Hasbro tailgate. Right there, this this thing, that, that's tailgate. <laughs> and here he is with the uh, the McToys tailgate right there. Yay, tailgates. I totally forgot I had other tailgates. There you go. And no, I don't own a G1 tailgate. I don't own any of... The only G1 minibot I own, I think, is Bumblebee. I think that's the only one I own. My G1 collection is very small. I don't have I don't have every G1 toy. So if you don't see that comparison here, it's because I don't have it. But anyway... There we go. Hatch. I think I'm really done now. Am I really done now? I think I'm really done now. Is, is that... Is that it? That... That... I think that's it. Okay. We're cool. We're cool. We're cool. Okay. We're cool. So anyway, this is MGO saying, remember, you don't stop playing because you grow old. You grow old because you stop playing. Be geek. Be proud. Palm in your face. And I said to Soundwave, I said, tape deck, you look more like a tape wreck. <laughs> uh, you had to be there. Oh, hey guys. Have you seen Optimus around? Uh, he's not here right now. Why? Do you think he's avoiding me? Why would he do that? No, Primus, he's gone all squinty-eyed. No, no, he's not avoiding you. Oh, oh, well, <laughs> that, that's a relief. Yeah, I mean, he just probably has some important things to do. You saying that I'm not important? No, no, of course you're important. You're very important. Oh, look at the time, Wind Charger. We need to go. We have things to do. Come on, let's go. Let's... Hey, bye, bye. Bye, Tailgate. Bye. See ya. See ya later, buddy. See ya. I like those guys. They're silly.